Sam clenched his fists as his captain finished reading the list of names. Jones, Johnson, Smith, Taylor, Watson. The mass of sailors on the main deck stared ahead, wringing their caps in their hands, willing for the list to go on longer. The rest of you will be dismissed from service once we reach Cape Cod. The captain ended with a cough, pocketing the parchment in his coat and making a retreat to his quarters. Sam shouldn't have been surprised. They'd been anticipating something like this now that the war over Spain's new king had ended. But somehow that didn't remove the sting. He had no other skills, no other chances to make his way in the world. A few listeners emitted groans and wails of despair, but nothing louder. And what of the rest of us, sir? Sam said, forcing the captain to stop in his perfectly polished boots. His reddened, puckered skin contrasted with the false white of his powdered wig. That's your problem now, Bellamy. I can't control the terms of the British Navy any more than I can control you. Sam held his tongue until the rat of a man escaped into his hole, hiding from the faces of the men. Rumor had it that he pissed in a silver chamber pot, feeling himself too good to use the heads in the bow of the ship like the rest of them. Let it go, Bellamy, one sailor whispered with sour breath to Sam as everyone slouched back to their posts. You'll only make it worse. Can it be worse? Sam replied. How long could he watch these emaciated young men haunt the decks, groveling like fearful dogs? How long could he himself be that dog, kicked time and time again, begging for a scrap of meat and a chance to survive? <laughs>